Hey everyone, Amanda here coming to you from my bathroom while my daughter is taking a tubby. You can see our friend Dolly behind us um, coming out of the outhouse. Love that little decoupage uh, my husband created for us. Okay, so I wanted to outline what we're looking for for applications more specifically. So if you're wondering if you fit um, any of the categories for our makers and artists, chances are you do. I've got a nice long laundry list to kind of hone in for you. So really what we're looking for for our market is things that are handmade or designed by you and maybe created afterwards, but that you have created them in some way. We're not really looking for vintage unless it's upcycled clothes, but we want things directly made from the person. So um, we also um, are interested in ethically sourced materials and sustainably sourced materials um, for perhaps what you're using in your wear. So um, being mindful of, you know, how our art impacts the environment as well is really important kind of detail that we like to consider. Um, so jewelry, ceramics, leather, curio objects, um, herbal products, ritual wear or witchy um, stuff, you know, witchcraft wear, um, candles. Um, I have a personal preference for essential oils. Um, even phthalate free fragrances are great, but um, I prefer, you know, things sourced from the natural world. Um, as just kind of a side note, not to say that candles that are not won't be accepted, but just kind of, it's nice to have um, a variety of those. Um, print sketches, paintings, um, stationery, paper, stickers, um, patches, glassware, metalwork, woodwork. Um, crystals and minerals are the only category that, um, you know, isn't made it's made by the earth but um that we're happy to hold space for for a vending spot um especially if they're ethically and sustainably sourced crystals um but not just crystals as is so not crystals that you've made into jewelry or crystals that are um you know captured in resin but just crystals as is um we would love to have some of those at the event too um what else? Oh, authors, local authors, um, zines, poetry, fiction, nonfiction. Uh, we would love to um, host that sort of art as well because everything is falling into that category of art. So, and of course, I we always have an other option to honor application if I've missed a category there, but that's kind of just giving you a broader sense of the categories of art we're looking at. And it's all about, again, just empowerment through the art. So really anything goes and we're looking forward to getting more applications from all of you. And we've already gotten a slew of really amazing artists. So thank you for applying for those of you who already have. All right, talk to you soon.